In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to create WordPress posts. WordPress started out as a blogging platform. And so when you created a blog post, it was like creating an online journal and the post itself was simply an entry in that journal. We're going to be creating a site called Wordville today. And as we go through, we'll be adding new items of interest, say a new section. And if you think about it, a news item has a title, a date, and some content. Well, that's just like a blog post. And so what you'll find is a lot of your work is going to be done here in the post section, especially as you begin your WordPress journey. Here on the post menu, I've got all posts, add new categories and tags. We'll be looking at categories and tags in an upcoming video. But for now, if I click on all posts, you'll see there's the hello world, which is the standard post that comes when you install WordPress. I can add a new post by clicking in one of several different areas. I can add new post here. I can click add new post here and I can also add a new post here. It all goes to exactly the same space. So I'm going to go ahead and click add new. And we have a brand new editing experience here in this new version of WordPress. The name of the project that brings this editing experience to us is Gutenberg. You don't need to worry about that except to know that Gutenberg has completely changed how we create posts and pages in WordPress. It's a drag and drop block editor that allows us to really add some sophisticated layout right within a post or a page. Up here at the top, we have some tips and I'm going to leave those on for now because these tips are really helpful. This is the welcome to the wonderful world of blocks. We click the plus button to add a new block and they're available for all kinds of content, including text, headings, images, lists, and a lot more. And indeed, you'll be amazed to see what this new editor can do. Once I dismiss that tip, you'll see here we've got a title and we've got one block where we can add some text and of course some images and other things over here. Let's go ahead and add the title. Welcome to Wordville. This is our first post on our new WordPress site. As I was typing, you probably saw that there was no WYSIWYG editor or no help there. As soon as I hover out and come back over, I've got a new WYSIWYG editor where I can change the block type left, center, right, justify, bold the text, italicize, create a link, and do strike through. If I click on these three dots, you can see that I've got a bunch of other options here to hide the block settings, duplicate, insert before or after, edit it as HTML, add to reusable blocks. One of the great new things in Gutenberg is that these blocks are actually reusable across different areas of my site. And I can even remove the block completely. As I type that in, you'll notice over at the side here, the definition for this block. It's a paragraph block where the font size is normal. I'm not using a drop cap, but I could. I have color settings and advanced settings where I can add a CSS class. Up here at the top, it automatically saves a draft for me on a regular basis, as well as I have the preview and publish buttons and the ability to hide the sidebar as well by clicking on the gear. When I click on the three dots over here on the right, I have the ability to put the toolbar up in the top region next to the add block section. Spotlight mode shows me which block I'm working on. And finally, full screen mode gets rid of all the distractions so I can work on my post. Unchecking each of these takes me back to the standard layout. Down here as well, I have a visual editor or I can enter a code editor, which allows me to use standard HTML. For now, I strongly recommend you stick with the visual editor. It's gonna help you out tremendously. Finally, if I click on document, I have the visibility settings as well as the publication settings. When I click publish, it'll be visible immediately. Push this to the front page or have pending review where an editor can come along and make sure everything's right before it gets published. 
On the right-hand side, I have various publication settings as well as the category, any tags I want to add, a featured image, an excerpt, and any commenting settings that I might want to update. In the next video, I'm going to come back and we're going to talk a lot more about Blocks and Gutenberg and how you can build really sophisticated posts. But for now, let's keep it simple. Go ahead and click on Document and let's push this to the home page and click Publish. And WordPress is going to ask just to make sure. Am I ready? And I'm going to publish. If I click on View Post, it's going to take me to the post on my site, the title, when it was published, and all of the details about it.